Once you extract DNA, the first thing you want to do is to measure how much DNA do you have in absolute terms and in concentration. DNA extraction is a simple process. You culture, let's say, bacteria and subsequently break open the cells. Then you pass cell debris through a sieve to which DNA selectively adsorbs while rest of the cell debris pass through. Basically you throw the cell debris and elute the DNA sticking to the column sieve by adding little TE buffer. Once purified, DNA is collected in buffer. It is ready to be measured by a spectrophotometer. Nanodrop is a spectrophotometer of small size and requires only nanoliters of DNA or RNA solution for accurate measurement. DNA measures maximum light at 260 nanometers. Let's imagine you took some extracted DNA and put it in a cuvette for measurement by spectrophotometer. Light of 260 nanometer wavelength falls on DNA. DNA absorbs some light whereas the remaining light falls on a photodetector which generates a proportional signal. The signal comes out as a reading on the visual display. DNA absorbs UV light due to the heterocyclic rings of nucleotides. The sugar phosphate backbone however does not contribute to absorption. Usually amount of light absorbed by a compound depends upon its concentration or molarity. Let's say 10 molar of a compound has more number of molecules than 1 molar of the same compound and hence 10 molar will absorb more amount of light than 1 molar. However, DNA is a polymer and hence the same logic doesn't hold true. Let's say a DNA molecule is only 100 base pairs long while the other is 1000 base pairs long. Now even if you take one molar of both DNA molecules, the one which 1000 base pairs will have more number of nucleotides than DNA with only 100 base pairs. Hence for DNA, concentration is usually measured in mass per volume, for example micrograms per ml. So a 3 microgram per ml DNA will absorb more light at 260 nanometer than 1 microgram per ml DNA concentration and thereby you will see proportionally higher spectrophotometer reading. Let's imagine that you have 1 microgram of DNA that you have dissolved in 1 ml of water. Now you pour this 1 ml into a standard cuvette whose path length is 1 centimeter. Now switch on the 260 nanometer light. Some of it would be absorbed by DNA while some of it will pass through and fall on photodetector and subsequently you get a reading which is 0 0.02. So 1 microgram of DNA gives 0 0.02 optical density or OD. Let me multiply 0 0.02 OD with 50 which will give me 1 OD. In that case, I will have to also multiply DNA amount with 50 which will give me 50 micrograms DNA. This way we derive the relationship between DNA and optical density which is 1 optical density at 260 nanometer corresponds to 50 micrograms of DNA. We are going to use this relationship extensively in future to measure amounts of DNA in unknown sample. So let's take a question. Let's imagine that you 
break open a lot of bacterial cells and extracted DNA. And now you took optical density reading of a double stranded DNA sample. However, it is too concentrated and the reading goes off the range, thereby ends up being inaccurate. Hence, you decide to dilute it by taking 1 microgram of DNA sample and adding 14 micrograms of 14 microliters of water to it. Upon measuring diluted DNA sample by spectrophotometer, it gives you an OD reading of 0.123. Now the question is, what was the concentration of your original DNA sample? Here you take 1 microliter of DNA sample and add it to 14 microliters of water which gives you a diluted solution. Basically, you took 1 microliters of DNA sample and made it into 15 microliters or you did a 1 is to 15 dilution. If you take undiluted DNA sample, let's say it gives you a particular reading depending upon the concentration of or the amount of DNA it has. However, 1 is to 15 diluted DNA will have 15 times less DNA than the undiluted sample. Hence, upon measuring, it will give you proportionally less reading. As we saw earlier, that one OD reading at 260 nanometer corresponds to 50 micrograms of DNA. So, 0.123 OD will correspond to how many micrograms of DNA? Let's solve this by ratio and proportion. 1 OD is equal to 50 micrograms of DNA. So, 0.123 OD will be how many micrograms of DNA? Since it's a directly proportional relationship, we will multiply outer numbers with each other and inner numbers with each other to get unknown micrograms of DNA into 1 OD is equal to 0.123 OD into 50 micrograms of DNA. We'll take 1 OD on the other side, cancel ODs and this is the answer, 6.15 micrograms of DNA. So is this our final answer? No. 6.15 micrograms is the amount of DNA present in 1 is to 15 diluted sample of DNA. In order to know the amount of DNA present in the undiluted original sample, you need to concentrate this result back by 15 times. And you do it by multiplying the answer by 15. Right? Like the here you can see that 1 is to 15 dilu diluted DNA give proportionally less OD which was 0.123. So to find what is the actual uh, DNA amount in the undiluted sample you need to multiply 6.15 back by 15. Therefore DNA in original sample is 6.15 micrograms into 15 that is equal to 92.25 micrograms.